will receive something from our Mahdi through the heart of our Sheikh. We are, anyone has a question? If you have a question. Youngsters, they are reading our zikr and our sofa. This is a pity. You should tell them to come. Sofa is the most important thing in Tarika. Tarika is the most important thing in Islam. Islam is with Tarika and Tarika is with Islam. What is it? Sofa. So far, advice. Advice from whom? From the Sheikh. We are, Sheikh is not here. Maybe here are some Sheikhs. Uh, maybe I am not, but we are connecting with our Sheikh. We connect our heart. Everyone, every single one of us is connecting his heart with, his, with our Sheikh. And that means so far, and we're hoping that they give us some advice. This is important. If they come to the summer camp, they must come. Not in this time, this one hour or half an hour, they must sit here. Not playing kicker or mika. Or, no, no, they must make zika. <laughs> Not kicker. Yes. To learn something, they must uh, to take something from here. After that and before that, they can so, whatever. But it is important. Yes. Yes, sir. Medit, yes, I What is why we are here on this planet? What happened? Suddenly we are here. The sand in your body, with your eyes, with your ears, with your nose, with your senses, and with your body, you are from Shiavala Art. You are going on this planet in two days. There's also four legs. <laughs> four legs don't mean, all the two legs don't mean sometimes they are, you can find it. How come? How come? And why now? Why you are, why you are here now? Not 100 years before, 50 years before, or one hour before. Now you are here, sitting here with these people, everyone, the brothers and sisters. Today, now, you are sitting here. How come? <coughs> you plan it? Did you plan? You make a big plan. <laughs> but there is a big planner, the only planner. He planned it. And it must be must be written before to meet here in this work. And whom you meet, also this is written. It is written whom you meet. It is written whom you like. Prophet was saying some of you meet. Those people, you like them. There are people you don't know them, you see them for the first time in your life, but immediately you feel some oomph. You feel familiarity with them. You don't know why. You like, you like, you have sympathy. You like them. This is because it is written. It was written in the, in his, in the oceans of Allah Almighty. And he created us, which is with whom, also with, with which shape you are, it is written. And with which brothers and sisters, and which people you meet in this life, it's all written. Also with you, people you don't like, it's also written. It was before like this. And they sent us here to know this, to try to know this, to try to know your the purpose of your being here in your body. And it is only a, a lot of 
deciding to make it a short a stay, a short stay, and it's only for preparation of next night. Next night is not like this night, they are saying. What am I saying? Next night is life forever. And it is also not this new life, it is a real life from al hayy from the secret of al hayy It is different. Different from what you think you are alive. You are not enough. You are not alive. You are dead ones. Dead men walking. What? <laughs> dead men walking. It's a series, I think. Yes. Dead men walking. Walking, he thinks he's alive. He's not alive. He's dead man walking. Life comes through our hand. Through what? Through love. We have to love. It is about love. You must love. You are here for love. To fulfill your love. To find your lover. To find your beloved. To be with him. That is the purpose. You love Allah. He loves you. He created you out of love. And he is asking your love. He is immensely and intensely longing for your love. He put that longing in your heart also that you long, that you have longing in the heart for Allah Almighty. It is from him. His, his longing is much, much, much bigger, much more intensive, much more powerful. Then you are longing. Yes, your longing is. Sometimes you have sympathy coming, going. But his longing is a strong longing. If you know about this longing, you die. If he shows you the atom from his longing for you, you. Like you to see it, you directly in the oh, It's a good test, very nice, very good test. We show you and you leave, leave your body directly. It's a love for Allah Almighty. That is the reason and the purpose of our, that we are created and walking on this planet. And He show us, he doesn't leave us with nothing, he is leaving us, he gives us a message how to reach his love, how to reach it, and you reach it by loving the Prophet, his beloved, you love his beloved, you love his beloved, and through love for his beloved, you may reach love for him. He is creator, Allah and he liked it to, to create his beloved one. First, first of all, first life, what he created, first creation was Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, follow him, follow my beloved, and we will love you, and you love us. Follow him. How you follow him? You do what he is doing. Try to do what he is doing. Make what he is doing, follow him. It's not a difficult to understand. It's very clear. He makes it very clear. And if we, if we need we need a guide for this, of course. We are weak ones, we cannot understand Holy Quran. What we understand from Holy Quran, I don't know. But Every meaning, every verse of the Holy Quran has 24,000 meanings, beginning. So, Hadith, the reports of Prophet also, is very high, not easy to understand, no permission to give interpretation, no. If you have Sheikh, and the Sheikh, he is not uh, like us. He is a friend of God. His inside life is different from our life. His ego is passed away. He is a totally friend, a lover of the beloved. And that one 
what he knows, what is true and what is wrong, and what you have to do now, today. How you are. And you need such a guy. And it is a rule to have the guy in his body, physically. So when you can't say, I have a sheikh, I have that tarikat, this is the south of tarikat and south of Shuru, yes. Who is your sheikh? Yes, this one. I see living no, he's not living. He passed away a hundred years ago, he's my sheikh. Yes, he is your sheikh. He looks out for you, he hates you, yes, yes. But you need a guide in his body now to go the best way, to go the best way, most perfect way, most beautiful way, most clean way. You need that. Everyone is agreeing from those who know God, who they are the knowers of Elim, they have Elim of Deen, they know this and they dream on that point that everyone, every servant of Allah Almighty, he needs a guy. He needs a guy. And then it is perfect. Then it is perfect. Your way is perfect. The way is already perfect. Deen of Islam is perfect. And to follow it, that means your happiness, your happiness. And yes, I have said, for patience, you need the patience. Because you have ego, we have ego, we have it. And it is important to see this. The beginning of the way is to notice and observe that you have an ego, you have a lower self, which uh, claims to be someone. It claims existence, independent existence, but it has not independent existence. But it claims independent. You have that, and that one is disturbing you. It's disturbing you in your heart. And Shaitan, he takes the opportunity, he is with them, the best friend of ego, Shaitan. So he's telling him, whispering, he's a whisperer, the whisperer. In the ear of the ego, what to do? Do this, do that, you can do this and that, go after your feeling, go after your dreams, go after you, and he's slowly, slowly, uh, slowly, slowly, he's driving you from the way, saying, oh, this is also okay, there is some light and some love and there, I can, and uh, I feel much better there because the praying is so praying, always praying and fasting and doing Hajj certificate, all these things, and all these rules. And so, no, 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 I can go. No, no. Just follow the way. It's very clearly said. Follow the way. Safe way, safe way. Shaitan has so many tricks and traps and tests. He has. He goes, he goes in, he goes everywhere. In uh, your feelings, your thinking, even you are on the way. He tries to put you out of the way. Very smoothly, you don't notice this. You drive, you drift, you drift off, and suddenly you look everything. Not like this, but like this. <laughs> Suddenly, you notice. If you notice, good. Then you have to warm up. Swing. So, okay. He put you like this, like that, to go straight. Yeah. That is important. We are hyper in Shabbat. <laughs> It's not so difficult. It's not so difficult to understand that it is about love and what to follow. To follow. And it's about the love of Prophet. How can you not love the Prophet, the beloved one of Allah, God Almighty, the Creator? Yes. You must love him. And you hate those who he hates. There are people he hates them. They are not believing, they are destroyers. 
They are destroying, they're destroying themselves and they destroy their, their life here in this life and the next, which is much more difficult, much more worse, that they destroy their hereafter. And they want you to come with them. And now 90-90% of human beings on the world, they are like this, going with Shaitan. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Come, come, do what you want, whatever you want. Take whatever you want, do whatever you want. You are the free person. And everyone here. Drawing. And even our children, they are so much in danger. That I imagine, where are they are now, our youngsters? Where are they are listening? Shaitan is ready to take them. He is ready to take Dajjal, taking them. The Prophet said, you can't do anything in this time, this Ahir Zaman. You can make a rope on the tree, you bind them on the tree. Not working. He takes them. So you must take all your effort and all your power, all your concentration on to protect your children and to educate your children and to be with your children, to give them that love and show them the way and tell them what to do and what not to do. That is important. And then even in Muslim, there are Muslims, they are not saying that you have to love the Prophet, that they don't love the Prophet too much. This shit, this idiot. <laughs> How can it be? Don't love him too much. You cannot love him too much. It's impossible. You will love him always too less, always. And they drive away from the good way all the men, all the, all the Umar, the Muhammad, they are listening to this because they know Arabic. MashaAllah. I'm from Bosnia and I don't know Arabic, but this one is Arabic. Oh, from there he's coming, oh, from Saudi Arabia, oh, from Mecca, oh, hey, oh. He has to listen to everything what he's saying. Yes, you all know Arabic. Yes. And he said, Don't love the prophet. It's shit. And people, yes, yeah, yes. Foolish Muslims listening to them. What am I used to say? Yes, and everywhere there is a sickness of that wrong teaching. You must love. You must love. And you must mention. Don't be afraid. Mention his name. Don't say, I'm esoteric. Oh, that is uh, this and that. I am in the society of uh, Sheikh Mohibi. You up uh, there is a club of uh, Sheikh Mohibi, Sheikh Al Akbar. I am that club. Other one saying, I am in the club of Jarni Ruby, the love, the universal love, your love of the love. I am that one, okay? that club, I said, what do you know? Islam, no, no, Islam, no. From where? Certainly, Jarni Ruby is coming from where? What he did in his life. Do you know that? A. Rafin, you know? Or Shaykh Muhyuni Rafin? Anyone who knows more about Sharia than them? Yeah, talk <laughs> sense to know. Sharia, the rules. Allah gave the rules. They are following the rules all their life. All their life. What are you saying? Mention Sayyidina Muhammad, say Sayyidina Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Best one, most praised one, best of creation. Mention, don't be afraid. <coughs> to please people. Please people? Or you please Allah? <coughs> I please people, so I don't know, I'm not mentioning. He's all up. You want to learn? You want to learn? You want to learn? So, Prophet Salah, Yes. 
May you not help us, inshallah. Not to follow the dreads and tricks of dreads of Hitler. But to follow this way, team way, perfect way, the way to God, to perfection.